la próxima va a estar a cargo de Alan López García, eh, que estuvo trabajando con el ingeniero Ricardo Esbri. Va a estar hablando de Penstock Dimensions Optimization Software for Low Head Hydroelectric Plants. Good morning, everyone. My name is Alan Lopez Garcia, as the professor said. <laughs> um, I'll be talking about today, today about my summer internship project. It's titled Penstock Dimensions Optimization Software for Low Head Hydroelectric Plants. I work in this with my advisor, engineer Ricardo Esbriamador. So, starting, I'd like to explain a little terminology. So we could at least understand our title, no? So what do we what do we mean by head? Head is basically the eleva elevation or height between the water reservoir and the powerhouse or the turbine. And a penstock is nothing else than the piping system between the water reservoir and the turbine. So, standard numerical force evaluation is not sufficient on an actual project. We have to, yes, we have to take in, into consideration the head, the floor, the, the flow of the, the flow throughout the pipe, the turbine efficiency, but in actual project planification, we need to address a financially focused approach. In our case, we took into consideration the installation cost, the power value, that are and the standard, standard uh, which one of its standard units is money itself. So by taking account the economical aspects such as this, we can, the engineer, can have a much accurate estimate of the project cost. In the American Society of Civil Engineers word, the, this, dynamic forces, this dynamic forces the engineer to be more diligent in terms of economic penstock sizing to apply material cost and value of energy parameters in the best possible manner. Because as we know, material cost and the, cost, the actual cost of energy is constantly changing. This means that the, the, the project engineer the, during the planning process has to continuously evaluate the cost of the final project. If, even, if, um, the, if, even if it's a month different or a uh, difference of years. So what did we have to consider to work with penstock pen dimension optimization, per se. We work with the concept, concept that's called head loss. Head loss is basically the difference, in, the difference in energy measured by feet. You get, because of the loss of, the, uh, the loss of energy, excuse me, the loss of energy because of the Flow, um, excuse me, I, I'm, I'm a little nervous right now. The head loss is basically a unit of measurement in feet that translates the loss of potency and loss of energy you get because of the friction between the liquid, in this case the water, throughout the plumbing system. So. In optimal dimensions, when we, when we took into account an economical factor, we not, not, necess not necessarily the optimal um, diameter, in this case, or the optimal pipe thickness, is exactly the same as the one that would produce more force at the end of the, at, at the, end of the, of, of the pipe system. 
in this case, we had to we had to adapt the actual the actual equations used by the American Society of Civil Engineers because these were specifically made for steel pen stocks, and we wanted to and we wanted a, a program that could manage different kinds of materials and not necessarily only steel pen stocks. So as a medical, as a mathematical background, we use the economic, we can see here the economic diameter, we use equation for head loss, a friction factor that is not, not, nothing else than, uh, th than the factor in which we, we calculate the head loss, a Re the Reynolds number, and a diameter. The friction factor itself had to be calculated in two different ways depending specifically on the result of the Reynolds number. If the Reynolds number was greater or equal to 3000, we had to use the equation on the bottom. As we notice, this is an implicit equation, which means that we have the, our main interested result on both sides of the equal sign. Noticing, we, we, we can notice that all our mathematically, all the, all the factors we have to calculate mathematically are interrelated. In this case, the economic diameter that is our main, inter, uh, that is the, 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 our main focus here is dependent, directly de dependent on the head loss, which is directly dependent on the friction factor, which is, which is directly re, um, de dependent from the Reynolds number. What happens here is that to calculate a Reynolds number, we need the specific diameter, a specific diameter. And we, we encountered that to get an economic diameter, we needed to have an, a, a diameter to start with, which didn't really make sense unless you saw these mathematical, we, we work with this mathematical relation as an implicit equation by itself. So we were working with an implicit equation at large when we were calculating the economic diameter and an implicit with within it had an, another implicit equation that was um, the friction factor. So how did we translate it this mathematical mumbo jumbo to actual programming code. No, it wasn't easy, but we figured it out. Our, we used the mathematical, it's called, okay, let, let me see. The, we, we used the mathematical relations used that, that in programming are called black boxes. With black boxes, the best way, the best programming paradigm you can use is an object-oriented approach to program them. We use Java because Java is an open source, very available, very available cross-platform cross language. And the actual, um, we use an approach that's called iterative optimization. And this is how the, the structure, the, the general structure of the program runs. At first, we need to obviously enter the different parameters of our specific project. Then we assign, because we had the, this implicit equation for the economic diameter, we arbitrarily assign a value of one to the first iteration to our first diameter, let's call it our base diameter. After that, we have to calculate with this given diameter our Reynolds number, decide which friction factor we're going to use, then calculate our head loss, and finally calculate our economic diameter. After this, we have to constantly and iteratively compare our given diameter in our first iteration and then our calculated diameter with the actual last economic diameter cal calculated in this state. This is done because 
uh, as I said, we had an implicit equation, and this is the most um, smooth approach in programming to attack an iterative problem. As itself, the this is the main, the main, the main loop, the main iteration. But this iteration, as I said before, in the friction factor, it has an iteration inside itself. So this is basically the iteration for the friction factor. Instead of assigning a temporarily first value of calculation to one, as we did to the, with the diameter, we decided to use um, the Churchill's equation for friction factor, which works basically as well with all the, all, all the different pipe structures. After that, we then continue iteratively to compare our friction factor with our Colbrook friction factor, our, our implicit equation friction factor with our non-implicit equation friction factor until we get an exact match. After that, it does the, then the, the program returns the actual friction factor that it's used. Once we get our optimization ready, we have the actual economic diameter. Then, with this economic diameter, we calculate an overall, an overall installation cost, the exact pipe thickness, the power revenue loss, and then we print the program prints all the, all the results of the calculations. Here you can see a picture of the first prototype of the program. We called it the Preg Penstop Optimizer Alpha. We maintained a very basic, strong, um, straightforward user, user interface because it's our first prototype. We decided that we needed to test, obviously we needed to test our program. So we decided to use the American Society of Civil Engineers example on how to calculate the economic diameter by hand. These are the, the, the parameters, the values of the specific parameters that we use. And we can see that the manual said we had to had a, a result of 15.00 feet, and our result with the program was 15.243 feet. What does this mean? Remember that we needed to we needed to optimize our equations so that we could not only work with steel penstock but with any kind of material penstocks. In this case, we understand that our, our optimization program is 1.59% more accurately, accurate calculating an optimum economic diameter than by doing it by hand with the predisposed values that the American Society of Civil Engineers proposed. These are my references. And if you have any questions, I'll be glad to answer them. Thank you. Excuse me? Anybody can use the program because we use the Java as the programming language. It can even be used on a, mo on a mobile phone, on a tablet. It can be embedded onto a web page even. You can have it right here. <laughs> I have it in my USB drive. Very well. Yo, yo quiero darle las gracias a Alan y al ingeniero Ricardo porque este es el primer año en que nosotros tenemos gente externa de la, a la universidad trabajando en el internado del Rec y de verdad que ha sido buena experiencia para todos. Muchas gracias. De verdad los felicito y muchas gracias. Thank <laughs> you. 